Alright guys, I am back once again with another Chobo Team League match for you. This time we are going to start getting into the diamond segment of this set. For week one, spawning into the top left hand corner is the diamond player from Inside Gaming. It is GI Geo Gamer. The teal Zerg pieces. Is spawning into the bottom right hand corner, his opponent, the purple Terran player from FXB, it is Rocket Raccoon. It's a blue Terran player. Wow, man. Colors, colors are hard. Life is hard. Chat is hard. I understand. And so far, it looks like Geo with a very early scout here. I'm assuming he's here to try and deny this barracks from going down. We're just trying to see exactly what is going on. Like, I think Raccoon's a little bit confused to even throw down a barracks. He's waiting for the mineral to do so. Drone is going to show up here. He is going to take another look around the base here. See that everything is relatively normal. Already we have some cheeky Zerg going on here, trying to deny that barracks from going down, but SCV is pulled to chase his drone off. Now, like what Rocket Raccoon did here, he took his SCV and parked it next to this geyser to uh, make sure he couldn't just walk in here and steal that gas. And it looks like Joe's is going to head on home, but we will have a fast expand behind that for Rocket Raccoon. Meanwhile, the other side of the map, Overlord's floating across on out here. Get into position. We do have hatch gas pool going down here for Geo. Pool's actually late. Where's his spawning pool? You can offer a third hatchery here. Well, and look, I was about to say that's that's a very late spawning pool for Geo. I'm a little curious. I'm a little worried now because this Reaper is gonna find some purchase. Is we even a Reaper out? This should be a Reaper out on the map right now. Wow, Geo getting lucky on this. That Reaper could have got across the map and found a couple drone kills and even denied some mining time, but no Reaper here. Then we did have an SCV scout, and I wonder if he saw how late that spawning pool actually was. I imagine he did. Yeah, he, he knows it's pretty late here. Oh, on the other side of the map, it looks like we are going to opt in for some Hellion play. Second factory being added on. As soon as this reactor is done here, we'll see the flip happen. Is going to be Hellion Cyclone? Hellbat Marine. Look, here, there's two factories going down, so it looks like Hellbat Marine, but there's still no expansion here. For Rocket Raccoon, but Geo taking the third base, and without any kind of information as to what's coming from Rocket Raccoon, he doesn't have any right to be taking this third base right now, I feel. The right to expand has been denied to Geo. It has been revoked. Take the coats. No, no coats. Anyway. The couple of is going to make his way out on the map here to see exactly what is going on. There are some Hellions up on the high ground. The wall off coming down here for Rocket Raccoon. Second factory is going to finish up. You should see Cyclones started up. Yep. Okay, the Cyclones are already on the way. They are in the production tab. The first two are about to pop out. And Geo trying to get this SCV and not looking at what's coming. His lings are crispy fried bacon now, folks. As, uh, the first cyclone is going to pop out here for Rocket Raccoon. You want the other side of the map. What is his follow-up? He's just adding on more roaches, adding on spine crawlers. And the correct response for this is not the spine crawler. It is to start your roach horde sooner. The baneling... Geo. You know what's coming. You saw Hellions. I don't. Why are you going into more lings and banelings here? You make that makes no sense. Roaches are all you need to stop this. That's exactly what you should have gone for: is roaches and walled off your natural. But this game looking like it's gonna be already over pretty quicker. Even if he holds, the lings are gonna pop out here and get to surround this army. But the lings have already fallen. The queen has already fallen. The second queen that is in trouble falling is four lings are gonna pop out on the backside of this army. Spycrawler not in position to do anything here. There's a push hitting incredibly fast on Interloper. Cyclones are going to get to work on this because you know Cyclones is a good unit, folks. Spycrawler ends up falling. No, not even a GG. Geo is just going to up and leave. Like So many things happened here that were completely the wrong answer. Opting for a third base before exactly seeing what your opponent had. Seeing that there were two Hellions and not throwing down a Roach Warren to counter that is probably the ultimate no-no. Not even any more Queens were added on. He, 
Instead, he looked like he was droning out to speed was it done. Had 12 links about to pop out there. But, four minute game, and... Hey, that right there, folks, is probably not how to ZVT. That's, that's scary. This is a very scary push coming out of Rocket Raccoon, actually. I'm, as a Terran player, I'm probably going to start picking that one up more. But, with that, folks, let's be our first Diamond game of the series. Uh, there is two more games. I still don't have the replay from our third Diamond, but... With that, I'm going to close it out here and get to the next game for you guys.